Hey everybody, this is Lindsay T. I am eight months out from my duodenal stitch surgery, which I had in June of 2019. Um, I am down 107 pounds as of this morning. Um, so the good news and bad news is, um, the good news is that I've lost like five pounds just this week. That's like the good news because my weight loss is really slow. And my weight loss is really slow because I've been eating whatever the frick I wanted. Um, because I am lucky enough to have had like an amazing surgeon who did a great job that I don't have any crazy complications and I can eat whatever the heck I want again. Um, and the bad news is you can't stay on Prilosec forever because it puts you at risk for osteoporosis. Um, and my doctor's like, you can't keep taking this. Um, so this weekend I stopped taking it. And uh, so the first day I didn't take it was Sunday, and it's now Thursday. And I'm gonna tell you, literally everything gives me heartburn except for water and milk. Um, plain rice, broccoli, nothing on it, heartburn. Um, I was drinking pop, which we're told not to do, and I don't know why, but the carbonation, that gets it going. So like, I took us like a sip of pop. Well, no, can't do that. Um, and I have to find another way to get caffeine in. Um, yogurt is okay. Uh, but uh, I also have to watch how close I eat to going to bed. Even though I do sleep elevated, like, even like it was like three hours before bed, I, I um, had a yogurt and I laid down. And then you just like, it felt like coming up the reflux. Um, it was nasty. It, um, I really just hope it levels out. Um, but I guess the positive is, is that it's got me eating portion sizes again, because no matter what I eat, if I eat too much of it, uh, the reflux happens. But if I eat like a normal sized portion of something like a safe food, like yogurt, it's not happening. Cats are crazy. So, which is good because I did want to get to my goal weight by June. So I only got four months to get cracking on that. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this in my last video, but my doctor had actually changed my goal weight. My initial projected weight was 160 pounds, which, whoa, I've never been that small. I've been a fat person my whole life. Like, what? You know, I'm five foot six. Um, so what he had changed it to last time, because also because I'm eating too many calories, um, he said that I would probably plateau around 180 pounds. So, um, today I was 196 pounds. So that's literally 16 more pounds that he thinks I will lose. Um, I'm pretty comfortable with this. My intention was never to be like 120 pounds. Um, but I am concerned based on kind of how fast the weight has fallen off this week with me eating smaller portions again. Um, I do know that like other people from the surgery group like had trouble like keeping their weight on, which is like, <laughs> why would I even worry about that? That's never been a problem in my entire life. Um, but I do like having some curves, you know, just, just some in, in certain places. I want to control that. I have no control over that. I don't know if my body's going to take fat or not take fat. Um, I can't remember if I brought this up in another video. I think I did. But yeah, my arm. You wouldn't think like, oh, you're going to lose a ton of weight in your arms. This is like, you could see, this is my arm. <laughs> this is like skin and fat. That's like all just like hanging there now since I've like lost weight. Um, so I got to have it fixed at some point. Um, my legs though, like, there's no hanging skin on my legs, and even, like, on my stomach, um, it's not too bad, and I've seen, like, some people after they've lost a bunch of weight, no, I don't know what would happen if I, even though I only want to lose, like, another 16 pounds because of my doctor's goal, um, I don't really know now after this week. I might go lower than that. Um, and then, if I lose more than that, then I might have more loose skin other places, um. But yeah, I really, like, this summer is going to suck like this, but I'll get through it. Uh, so another thing I just wanted to bring up, too, is um, it's really weird going by myself in the mirror. Like, I don't really recognize me because 
Um, not just because I changed my hair color. Like, that was intentional. But the body, like, I haven't seen this body since I was, like, 19, you know? I mean, you know, because cause I was, like, 190 pounds at 19. But, like, to maintain that weight, I had to skip meals. I don't really understand how skinny people work, but, like, how do you eat dinner and you're still like 150 pounds like how does that happen because <laughs> it's like if I I eat dinner um you know and eat some snacks like even in times where I was good like I think the lowest weight I ever was in high school was like 160 pounds and that was with like eating like 600 calories a day for like several months to get to that weight um and uh, exercising obsessively as well um I just feel like some people really do have a genetic advantage over other people. Um, so I guess that surgery gives me this advantage. Like I like that. Um, Cause I haven't been very good about exercising again. I keep intending to get better, but it's, um, I live in Buffalo, New York and it's wintry out here. Um, my husband's a runner and he actually like, he, he runs every day, no matter what. And he ran earlier this week and he fell and he slipped on the ice and I think he fractured his elbow. He didn't get an x-ray, but it's like all swollen and he can't extend it a little bit. Um, yeah, I guess I kind of use those kind of things. To just, I don't know. Oh, I would definitely slip on the ice in the fall. No way. You know, but I do like going out for walks in nature and I definitely feel better when I exercise. So I'm looking forward to the weather getting nicer and being able to get out and get more active again. Um, so yeah, so it's different. It's weird seeing myself and seeing my body. Um, but everything's been going great and uh, I uh, can't wait to update you guys in nine months and let you know what uh, happens between now and then. Um, Alright, happy Valentine's Day everybody. And I hope you have a great weekend.